Hi everybody, so uh, in this video we're going to be proving this uh, theorem. Uh, first off, uh, if you have a parallelogram that is a rectangle, then its diagonals are going to be congruent. And that's what we're going to try to prove, that that when we start with a, a rectangle, and a rectangle is a, a parallelogram with four right angles. Uh, so look at the, uh, the polygon right now, I just marked its four right angles. Uh, then once you start off with there that that uh, with uh, with that given information that you can conclude that your diagonals will be congruent so uh, for this what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna uh, mark uh, two of the diagonals uh, I'm gonna mark one red so this one here is uh, one of the diagonals remember that diagonals are segments that join two non-consecutive vertices uh, so uh, the second diagonal, I'm going to trace it as blue, just so you see a different color that doesn't really uh, have an impact here. And uh, once you have your diagonals, uh, we're going to start exploring uh, uh, two of these triangles formed here. And let, let me mark it so, so we can actually see it clearly. Uh, I want you to focus on this triangle here. So uh, that triangle there, uh, we're gonna compare it to another triangle uh, and uh, let me mark it too with another highlighter. Um, this one is close to red. No, it's, uh, it's, well, it's really far from red but... Okay, so this other triangle So I'm going to be comparing these two triangles, and, and right now, think that, that we're going to be able to uh, split the figure. I'm just going to use two different uh, drawings so we can actually focus on uh, uh, on the two triangles right now. So let's say that, that uh, these end up being the, the, the triangles. Uh, let me trace a diagonal here. So from here to the other end point I'm gonna make a, a segment and uh, I'm gonna pick red and I'm gonna complete the other triangle so uh, notice here that uh, right now we have uh, two right triangles uh, right now it's really important to, to mark these this is a right triangle and uh, this is a right triangle because those corners there were the corners of the rectangle uh, aside from that, remember that that a, a rectangle is a parallelogram, uh, meaning that its opposite sides must be congruent. So uh, here the segment is congruent to this one. Now uh, we have so far one side and one angle that are congruent, and uh, if you look at the bottom at, at the bottom segment here, this segment, well that segment is equal to itself. Uh, and that's a uh, reflexive property. So uh, this segment is equal to itself. And uh, well, once once we have this, uh, we have one pair one pair of of uh, sides that are congruent. So these this side is congruent to to this one. Then we have one one uh, pair of angles congruent between the two triangles, and then we have. Uh, Two, uh, well, let me mark it here. One pair of of sides, uh, one more pair of sides congruent. And uh, if we look back at the con uh, congruence, congruence postulates, uh, we have here um, a side, an angle, and a side, S uh, and uh, and the angle is included between the two sides, meaning that we have. SAS. Oh, that said SADS. <laughs> okay, so uh, SAS. Uh, so once we prove that that uh, basically they're they're congruent because of SAS, uh, the remaining segments, uh, these two, this one and this one, are congruent because of corresponding parts of triangles that are congruent will end up being congruent. So there we have it. Uh, the diagonals end up being congruent because you have uh, 
and behind the structure of, of the of rectangle you're always gonna have their uh, congruent triangles.